Alrighty. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes. <laughs> so, let's, uh, oh, there we go. Everybody's filing in now. What's going on, everybody? It's been a minute or two. Hey, Bob. Hey, Neil. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Frank. Hey, Todd. Look at all the people. Woohoo! Party! Hey, Derek. What's going on? <clears throat> so, this is uh, <laughs> going to be an attempt and hopefully a successful attempt. Um, we had a bit of a mishap with uh, uh, one of these commander kits coming together. And uh, we were going to see if we could do the repair work on it. <clears throat> now, when this... I believe what happened was it went together in the wrong orientation or something like that. So, uh, I think the end cap for the back of the pen was placed on the end or something like that. Uh, maybe, Neil, you can elaborate on that a little more accurately. But, uh... Ended up having to separate the pieces and take them apart, and in doing so, the uh, blank got cracked in a couple of places. And I don't know if this was all as much this way when it left uh, your possession, Neil, but um, it's got a few cracks in it. So there's one there, one on this side, crack over there, crack over here, and um, we're fairly far away from the barrel as well so we got a few things to repair we've got to get it all put back into one piece repair all the cracks to the best of our ability get it all back together and reassemble it hopefully <laughs> not that bad yeah it's it's pretty cracked up now boss it's got a few so uh we're gonna do our dang to dist <laughs> to try and uh, repair all of this business and uh, make it back into a finished pin. Uh, so, <laughs> here we are and here we go. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I'm going to try and do is get it glued all back together where the cracks are no longer coming apart and then get the barrel back into proper shape and orientation. And then uh, we will try to uh, get it all squared back up, put it back on the lathe, clean off the finish, sand it up, and uh, make it into a finished pin that looks like a finished pin <laughs> and that functions. So, <laughs> that's all the backstory. Here we are. We've got the project ahead of us, <laughs> and we're going to do our best. So, let us see. Let us see here. Try and find all the cracked business. So the goal is, or the plan is, I'm going to try and get enough glue down inside of this barrel and um, in between all the cracks that it holds together well. And then I've got uh, the bushing for this thing uh, greased up really slippery so hopefully none of the CA that we put on here is going to stick to the bushing and the bushing will hopefully hold the barrel in the correct shape Jesse what's up buddy hey Mary how y'all doing and then uh, we're gonna try and get that locked in tight and nice and then uh, woo, make something good happen then we'll take it back apart and uh, See if we can assemble it. So, first things first, get the glue open. <laughs> the glue never wants to open. It hates us. Just a minute. There we go. It's got some crackies in it. <laughs> Uh, we're going to make it happen, Neil. I can feel it. Alrighty. Woo! Uh, let's see. 
Colorado State Westboro. Good time. My wife is going to be so happy. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one, Jesse. Woo! That sounds like trouble, 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 sir. Alrighty. So let's try and... If I had some thin CA, maybe that would actually do better for what I'm trying to do. But I haven't got any thin CA. So we're going to medium it up here. And see if we can resist getting too gosh awful much on our fingernails, which we just did a lot. Let that go down inside as deep as it will. Hopefully fill up these cracks pretty good. Resist hopefully sticking our hands to it too much but some may be necessary <laughs> for a start okay that all go down in and now we'll get this bushing there we go all right the bushings in now He must have beat the crap out of it. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, they must have beat it up pretty good, boss. All right, so now we're going to send it. <laughs> Try and fully fill in all of our big cracks here. So we're going to have the cracks, and now when we're going to fill them up here, they're just going to look like they're uh, spalted pieces. <laughs> or at least that's the goal. All right, so everything should be relatively filled in now. Ugh. So let's try and lock some of that up. There were two cracks. There are more than two now. <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna call them spalt cracks or crack spalts. It's gonna be the new thing. The new hotness. Crack spalting. <laughs> okay. Let that hang for a minute. Now my thumb is slightly stuck to itself, as is expected. Maya's in the house! Woo woo! Okay. We're going to give this a good enough diploma on being back into one piece now. And hopefully... Hopefully, indeed, in a minute here, we can pop this bushing out and it won't be too horribly glued to this thing. If our uh, lovely little uh, wax worked well enough. So we'll see if that turns out how we wanted it to. And then, we'll try and knock out this second section here. What's up, Tim? How you doing, buddy? Now, Neil, tell me if my thinking is right here. Is this new threaded cap section to replace this one if we destroy it? <laughs> Which may be necessary. Just want to make sure that is why that thing is in there. Hopefully it is. Perish in the house. Woo! Okay. So that's what that is. Let's see here. We're going to try and do our standard uh, pop and pull with the bushing. Oh boy. Nope, not like that. 
like that, you won't. All right. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, yeah, I got several commander kits here, buddy. They're all promised to your other pins, but they are here. <laughs> all right. Let's see y'all. <clears throat> so now, uh, I'm going to have to punch this bushing out of here because it looks like our wax didn't keep it quite as unglued as we were hoping it would. So I'm going to wrap this up really tight several times in a shiny new paper towel. And let me find a punch that will punch this thing out of here without doing anything crazy. This will work just fine. <coughs> Okay, we have removed our bushing now. Hopefully y'all could see the show there. Yeah, it's the right piece for sure. Mm. Shape is a little bit rough. But not horrible, horrible. Good enough to put the bushing back in, so we'll take it. <clears throat> okay, so. The new question is, can we get the, uh... Get some of the CA out of here. cleaned out so we can put our second punch in second punch we're gonna to have to have really close to the diameter of the uh, <coughs> close to the diameter of the whole barrel so that we can knock out this other piece let's see Okay. All right, so we've got this little fella right here that is just just right on the size of the barrel, which is going to be far out enough to the ends for us to hopefully be able to knock out this other uh, piece of the pin kit. And if that works, we might be hitting on something. <laughs> So here we are with the attempt. Woo! Come on, maybe, baby. So we're gonna rewrap with our lovely paper towel piece. <clears throat> Relock and load here. This is a wood vise. So the wood doesn't really, well, I mean, it can break your blank, but if you're gentle with it, you can oftentimes get in here pretty snug without breaking your blank, hopefully. And the multi-wrapped uh, paper towel gives it more of a hug than a clamp, but it's a really, really tight hug. Can we get this out without breaking the blank? So we got the piece out. 
Now we've got the punch out. Hey! Nothing died so far. And here is your piece from before, which looks pretty undamaged for the most part. I don't know what happened to the threads before it got here, but uh, it might be okay. Mm, uh, let's see what we got now. <laughs> What's up, Craig? We're doing some repair job, buddy. Now, let's see here. Okay, Neil, for, um, <clears throat> judgment call for you, buddy. This seems to be in perfect working order, the one that came out of it. Uh, I don't see any scratches on it or gouges or anything. Just use a new one. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was wondering what you, if you wanted to have it for nostalgia for when it broke. But, uh, okay, cool. I'll chunk this one. We'll use the shiny new one. Got it. Okay. That looks correct. Okie pokies. <laughs> All right, let me clean up this here uh, bushing just a little bit. Keep the one out to Okay, I'll keep it, buddy. Yeah, it's it seems to be just fine, so we'll keep it for another another project. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> there you go. We'll keep it for just in case purposes. Gotcha. Alright, so one bushing back in. Two bushing back in. Good. Now we will give this the old trim and repeat and repair. Smooth it back down and make sure that none of the cracks have re-cracked. This one might have would have thought about it. This one's got some more extra cracks over here. So we'll stabilize those up a little bit. We don't want it to blow back apart now that we've already got it apart and functional. We want it to stay in good happy standings here. Randy, what's up, buddy? Gotta tell you, Neil, when I took this thing apart, or when we got it out, I was like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it happen. But uh, so far, so good, man. No probs. It's got a little bit of crackage that it's trying to get away with here, but we're gonna try and keep it all in one good piece for you. If we can help it. Uh, I mean, yes, they're definitely going to show, but they will also look cool. So, like, they're pretty good sized cracks, but I think they're going to look awesome. Once they're cleaned up and trimmed out, I think they'll just look like some cool character in the piece. But, uh, yeah, as far apart as they were, they're, they're going to be visible. But I think they'll be a cool, a good looking kind of visible. A unique kind of a look. Going unique on them. Yeah, I'm about to put it back on the lathe. And we're going to trim it all down until it's dead on. Alrighty. So. 
At this point, it's at least in one piece, and there's no more cracks, and it's back on the bushings. <laughs> that is a solid starting point. Boom! Now let's finish this here repair job. Make something nice out of it, shall we? Success! <laughs> we got to make a song. This is the way we fix the pin, fix the pin, fix the pin. This is the way we fix the pin when it is so broken. Whammy. Oh, yeah! Uh, let me find my shades real quick, guys. Just a minute. I gotta figure out what I put them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We got shades. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Let's throw this little baby back on the lathe now. Give it a little love. Okay. Looking good. Alright. This pin just wants a home for Christmas. <laughs> Try not to throw you under the bus too bad, Neil. <laughs> Here comes the scary part. Close to the tube. Yeah, I'm gonna trim it closer to the tube with the uh... No, it's right on the tubes. It's not hanging off any. That's pretty good. Just gonna knock her down. Oh no you don't little place. Not today. Not today. You're good. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, trim it down with this to where it's back to the correct size. All good. Press between centers and split it worse. Nope, it's good. No worries. Are you good, Derek? Thanks for looking out, buddy. Alrighty. Woo! Let's try and not blow it up. Steve Lomax is in the house. What's up, Steve? Up or down. We got us 
little fixer upper, Steve. So we're fixing her upper. Scary. crack it just looks like more spalting so it's not going to look bad at all actually it looks like to me okie pokies let me go grab the old whatchamacallit machine grab the skew That's a great idea. I don't have any, but I gotta get some now because I like that sound of that a lot. I don't have any mica powder at all. I gotta get some, period, so I can play with them. Great man, heck yeah. Notice these at all almost they just look like yeah it's awful but it really just looks like more spalting you can't 
specifically it works well on this blank because this blank um, is faulted like that but you can hardly see it at all like that's one of the cracks that's one of the cracks that's one of the cracks oh yeah we good all right let's trim this baby down make her smooth make her smooth hey travis we've been working on stuff boss We're turning broken pins into not broken pins. Yeah, this is perfect. This is the best blank you could have cracked, man. <laughs> and that the mail carrier could have also helped crack. Everybody had a hand in breaking this one. disassembly Derek it was taking it apart and I don't know if it was cracked when it got in the mail but in the mail I believe it cracked three or four more times Looking pretty good. Try to take it apart. <laughs> yep. So I said, hey man, send it my way. I'll break it further. And then we can have a really extra broken pin. It'll be perfect. <laughs> then there were six. Or more than six. There was a lot of cracks. But we got them squared up. No probs. We <laughs> put it together wrong. Yep. It happens, man. It happens. It's going to look amazing now. Okay, just a second. The cigars are rough, man. Those bushings are almost the same size all the way around. They're tough, man. We're sanded to 800 grit now. The cracks just look like spalting, so that's good. That's right, Steve. Pokey pokies. That's good. Everything's cool. Let's put some finish on this thing and make it into a pin again, shall we? Make it beautiful. Alrighty. 
do you know a good wood to start with? Uh, John, I think one of the best ones to start with is cedar. It's reasonably cheap. It turns smooth. It gives you a good idea. It's a little bit rough on your tools. It'll dull them kind of quickly. But um, it's nice to turn and it's cheap. That's the biggest thing. Do not pick up a piece of two by four and try to turn it. <laughs> it sucks. Get some maple or cedar or some other kind of, try to get a soft maple if you can. Um, maple and cedar are the easiest to get, cheapest and simplest to get work with. Oh yeah, if you got a cedar, you can roll it, man. Absolutely, cedar's the best to work with. My favorite, favorite. Absolutely. There we go. Stay in focus. All right, that's two coats. Yeah, good smelling cedar is nice to play with. Oh yeah. All right, that's three coats. People want it in Nashville, really good. There ain't no cracks, homie. That's one crack right there. There's a crack right there, and a crack right there, crack right there, right there's a crack, but this, so like, this is a crack, but this is not a crack, they look like they're just part of the same thing. Oh, so you already know how to turn, you just haven't really done pins? Oh. Turn anything, man. Ain't no cracks, homie. <laughs> I don't even believe in cracks. Turn whatever you want if you want to know how to turn. Pins are just the easiest thing to turn. Pins, you just got to be kind of meticulous about your finishing technique and uh, getting down at the bushings without chewing up your bushings. But that's, if you ought to know how to turn, don't worry about it. You got it under control. Travis Smith wants the shark song. All these parents in here will stab me, and I won't blame them. Seventh and final coat. Stab, stab. <laughs> that was a preemptive stabbing. I didn't even do the song yet. What the heck? But if I'm already doing the crime, or time, I may as well do the crime. <laughs> Steve is correct for sure. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do do. 
we go. Coming here asking me for the shark song like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Where's Mary to tell me not to quit my day job? Okay. Anybody want to wager that Travis doesn't have any kids yet? <laughs> Spalted maple. Yes. Just don't crack it when you put it together. Or take it apart after you put it together. I guess. It's my favorite. Okie pokies. Woo! Three and a five year old. Oh, so you must hear it all the friggin' time. Yep, yep, yep. It is distinctive. Alright. Let's wet sand and buff this mofo and get it back into one piece, shall we? Get off me, mosquito! That's awesome, Bob. Oh, ambrosia's great stuff. I love ambrosia maple. I work a lot. Yeah. Alright, hold up. Let's do a thing and see if it works. Just a second, team. Be right with yins. Yins. That is a thing you can say. Be right with yins. Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. Just a second, team. Okay, so we're going to start off as per usual with our first micro meshing grit and get rolling. <laughs> Watch me put it together wrong too. I have to take it back apart again. <laughs> that would suck tremendously. Yeah, Steve, I want to see that thing, man. If y'all don't know, Steve Lomax makes the most ballerest pool cues in the world. He got the big boy cues, man. They're insane, the work Steve does. Steve ain't playing no games. Here we go with our first micro-meshing grit. Or, I'm sorry, not micro mesh, our first zona paper grit. 30 micron. Okay. <laughs> grit number two coming up here. Third grit out of six. Awesome, Steve.
fourth grit. All right, grit number five coming up. Neil, have you received your zona paper yet, buddy? That would be freaking awesome, Steve. This is called Zona Paper, Z-O-N-A. It is fantastic. Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's an assortment of different grits that go from 30 micron down to 1 micron. And it actually comes in sections that are about 11 inches by 11 inches. So they're big enough to do a whole pool cue all at the same time. It doesn't come in these little small sections like this. I cut it into little sections. Uh, so you could do a big piece all at once with it. Um, but it's got silicon carbide uh, for the uh, abrasive compound. And it's really, really high quality stuff. I put a mark on the back so I could remember which side is the front and uh, I think I'm digging it some other person told me about that the other day and I was like brilliant because it's hard to see it's hard to tell the difference between which one's which sometimes front versus the back okay let's see here uh. okay so here's a little cracky cracky there's a little crack right there. There's a crack right here. Uh, let's see here. This was some of a crack. That was a little bit of crack. Uh, Amazon, buddy. I'll send you the link in a few minutes when I get off of here, man. But uh, the cracks, I mean, if you're really staring at them and... Trying to decide, you can tell the cracks, but they really just look like they go with the smalting to me. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. Oh, uh, that's right, yep. So um I am now on team mark your zona paper on the back so you can tell which one's which. It does a good job. So thank you, Neil and Greg, for that piece of information. 3M products, others may also like it, yes. I, I also maybe can't believe that it worked, <laughs> but uh, I'm pleased that it did. Well, it, we'll see if it worked once we get it assembled. It's not really done until it's put back together again. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. Nothing explodey yet. So, let's see what we can do with it. Gonna polish it up some. This is the Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish. I wasn't one of the king's horses or one of the king's men, bro. I was just a pawn. I could have put homie together again. <laughs> 400 pins ago is exactly right. Getting hot. Okay. Okay, 
so this is where we're at after focus focus pocus whoop there we go this is where we are after some wet sanding and buffing now boom so from here let's take her off the lathe and see if we can get it all rolling properly in, in one piece and reassembled and functional need to do all those things successfully baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark uh wood pin blanks uh this lovely young fellow neil tremblett's got some baller blanks um Neil's got some of the best ones. Uh, Jesse Gilbert Levere's got some of the best ones. And uh, Randy McBurney's got some of the best ones. Uh, Ethan Cook has some really good ones. Any of those folks. Stab, stab. Yes. Press the polish on the pool cues. I'm finishing what's off. Yeah, auto clear is cheating. No, I love automotive clear, man. It's the best. I just don't know that I can justify getting out my spray gun <laughs> for an ink pen. I need a mini gun. Mix up a tiny little bit and put it on here. Okay. So far, so good. Can't go with Neil. He's too stab happy. <laughs> He's a little bit violent, but you know, it happens. <laughs> well, Neil didn't tell you he was a gangster. You didn't know that Neil wasn't gangbanging on Front Street no more. <laughs> okay. These are gonna look pretty good. Alright, let's clean up our edges here. How she look? She's looking pretty good, man. We'll do the final assessment in a little bit here. That end's cleaned up now. Let's clean up the second side. Gone preacher. <laughs> you know how it goes. The natural progression from gang member to preacher. Pretty standard. You know how Neil stay hard in these streets. <laughs> Monkey makers use a lot of CA for finish. Yeah, I've heard some of the Q makers use some CA for finish. I've also heard that that can be very dangerous to one's health using that much of it. Probably any amount of it. But, uh, so far, no one is dead yet on my team. Oh, you know the table saw workbench is the way to go, man. That's legit. Okay. Let's buff this thing. Let's buff this thing! Okay. 
Okay, ready to go play. One second team, we gotta slow it down just a little ways. Okay. All the ink on the paper towels. I think I threw that paper towel away, man. I'm sorry. I didn't think you wanted to see it ever again. <laughs> okay. Let's get her buffed out, shall we? Okie pokies. If I don't quit saying okie pokey, I'm gonna have one of y'all beat the crap out of me or something. I don't know why I keep saying that crap. I'm annoying myself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it had to have some good luck somewhere. This pin is good luck, Chuck. All right. So this is what we're looking at now, boss. Just need a little love. So there goes one crack. Uh, if all these lights will get out of the way, I can show you the rest of the cracks. Uh, there goes a little bit of a crack right there. A little crack happy. Thanks, Steve. There goes a little bit of crackage right there. All right. We got the new one. <laughs> nah, bro. I don't want to be fiddling with somebody else's work. <laughs> I'll throw it on the buffing wheel or something. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Assembly station so we can assemble this thing back together and we'll have a little repair jobby down. You just gonna say that? Alright, we'll try and buff the back end so it matches. <laughs> okay. Come on down! Second, turn you guys back around. A little bit. Oh no, my little mochin. Oh, that's what it did. One second. There we go. <laughs> Fruit on top, hope on the bottom. Okay. Hopefully y'all be able to see you well enough right there. Ah, we got just some new little parts to put together here for this little buddy. For our little buddy pan friend here. Hoki dokies.
Here we go. That looks right, I believe. Cool. <laughs> Alan likes a shiny bottom. Well, Alan, I hope you got one, buddy. Hold up. We. Always check when you're uh, pressing down your press. Make sure uh, no gunk got in there and it's trying to hang up on the sides. Sometimes you got to get in there and clear that out before you finish locking her down. That way you don't end up with it not wanting to close down fully and be as pretty as it really is. Not big enough. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> sure is what you meant. He likes shiny bottoms and lies about it. After admitting. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Uh, so, taking my little screwdriver here, cleaning out any excess gunk that might have been hanging out. Looks like it's pretty well out of here now. Didn't want any of that sticking up <laughs> and keeping the pin from locking down fully straight. Okay. It's gonna look good. Oh, don't the do dee do dee do. You know how it is. No good deed goes unpunished. Nah, bro. You ain't walking out of here with a saggy side of a lip. Hold on. Uh, the shell blank looks awesome, man. It's going to be really, really nice. I'm excited about it. Where would my little tool go? Come here, little tool. Where is you hiding? There you are. We got us a little bit of a separation here. Where it's down on the one side and hanging up on the other side. So we need to trim that off a little bit and square it up right. We ain't playing this game with no crooked pins. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so too, man. I think she'll really, really enjoy it. I got good feelings about that one.
Everything doesn't always go exactly according to plan. Sometimes you gotta get on back and do it again. And today we're gonna get back and do it again. Been watching Robin Hood? I am always watching Robin Hood. That's my film. <laughs> okay, but that's just. I wish I had read that comment before I just retook it apart. <laughs> Hokey pokey. Myself if I sent you a pen that was not properly repaired. <laughs> Plus, some folks might want to see some repair techniques. So we're gonna do some techniquing. That way everybody can see what you can what options there are. Hey Jeff, well, sometimes it's easy to be late to the show when you're on a boat. That side's pretty good, so it's the other side. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Okay. Go see one of my long bushings here. That's a shorty. Today we we'll learn new stuff today learning it today That's the messed up one over the two There we go There she blows.
So today is fun pin repair technique day. Yay! Fun stuff to try, fun stuff to try. Gonna try some fun stuff today. Hey, 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 hey. This is going to be worth a million dollars. Yes, sir, this is the million dollar pin. The million dollar showcase. Boom. Okay. Just a moment. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 is my hairbrush? Barrel trimmers are for boring people. We're looking at unusual techniques. Veggie tails, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> they know what it is <laughs> that's not my favorite one but that's one of my favorite ones <laughs> Okay. Too high. Made my watcher listen to it. Yeah, I bet they have. <laughs> Okay, so what we did here, whoop, we have to tweak a teeny tiny little bit, but <clears throat> we put the bushing in the one side and taped it on flush with the other side, whoop, masking tape so it doesn't screw up your finish. We placed some smaller bushings 
inside so they would leave this uh, pressed out a little bit so you could get to in between and then trim it off on the lathe that way you know you're in and up straight 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 Put this back on here, Get this out of our way. Okay, now I got this little teeny tiny bit of brass here. I'm going to knock off real quick like. off our brass here. <laughs> Let me see here. Whoop. This is a 12.5, right? I forgot. You guys, I'm dumb. I forgot. I have the dang things now. I bought them. I bought them for just such an occasion as this. And I had forgotten about it. That's how you do that if you're dumb and you haven't bought the thing to keep it straight. <laughs> Your barrel trimmer straight. But I bought them. And I forgot that I bought them. So now I can just do it right, simple way. And I could have done it the first time, but oh well. We look at a different way to do it. I saw insert for the commander kit so I can use a barrel trimmer. Yes, precisely. I forgot that I had bought it as well. And now I just remembered. Like a big dummy. Bloop. Here it sits. It's been here the whole time waiting for me. <laughs> so it used to be uh, I wouldn't be able to do this with the barrel trimmer. Because I did not have the thing to keep it straight inside of the dang tube. But I forgot I bought the things to keep it straight inside the tube. I could have just used that the whole time. Oh well, we looked at a different way. Now let's do it the simple way. And save ourselves some time. I didn't know they made them for a long time, and then when I found out, I was like, oh, that's way simpler. <laughs> so, if you're smart, <laughs> like I'm not, you can just put it on here, and this little barrel trimmer buddy we'll keep it straight and 
once you've remembered some commonsensical stuff like that, you can just put it on there and you're done. I need to go a little bit further till it's perfectly smooth. That sure doesn't make it simpler, does it? I'm gonna throw a little bit of wax on there to smooth that out a smidge. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning today. Okay, so the inner shaft really doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna use a bigger cutter. <laughs> So, let's get a little bit of slippery juice on here so it's not creating so much anger. Which we might end up having to clean out of the barrel a little bit, but at least it won't be getting too hot and burning anything up on us. That'll be safer. Because it's got a little bit further to go. <clears throat> Yeah, there's still just a little teeny tiny bit of that brass. I need a reverse maker. Here she come. Let that cool off for a second. Yeah, man, this thing's putting the, uh, <laughs> putting the work on it for sure. But that's okay. That's how we learn and get better. And sometimes it's good to do a little bit of learning. Today is learning day. <laughs> Today is training day. <laughs> Alright, come on, little fella. Floor? Oh, uh, yeah. That's on the planer back there. Lots of good uh, blanks to be made out of all those drilling shavings. There's a lot of pins in that uh, pile there. A lot of different pins have been made out of all that stuff. Okay. That's some more like it right there. That's what we wanted. This dang thing to get smooth and straight. Pretty simple. Sometimes you gotta do it that way. Much more better. All right. <laughs> Look at all the possible ways to do one thing today.
Okay. Luckily, taking it apart for a second time only screwed up the finish just a little tiny bit. Fruit Loop! Yes! Uh, the planer is just kind of in storage right now. We don't, we're not doing a whole lot of planing at the moment. So uh, it's just kind of out of use. But uh, the planer is in front of the garage door. So if we want to do any planing, we just roll the uh, drill press out of the way and open the garage door. And you can shoot the stuff right out the back of the garage door. So uh, it doesn't really need to be moved. It, it never really gets moved. But we can use it if we need to. Last time I used the, uh, that thing was a while ago, a long while ago. Ah, okay. Let's clean that sticky juice out of there real fast. Carbide trimmer head, we'll sharpen that. Yeah, it needs to be sharpened. It hasn't been messed with in a good long while. Okay. One. Two. There we go. <laughs> this will be the most expensive pin in the world. To hopefully ever actually become finished. If I cannot make any other dumb errors, this thing will be pretty nice. <laughs> But you gotta make some dumb errors every now and again. Otherwise it wouldn't be fun. Whoop. Just a second. Helical head on the planer. I honestly don't know, boss. That one is uh, my father-in-law's. Everything in here is his. But, uh, I use it a lot. But uh, I'm not certain on the heads on it. So now that we've done that little bit of excess accessory work, let us retrim, refinish, and make this a success story, shall we? <laughs> Gotta love a good success story. No matter how slow it comes along. She's going to be a beauty, a really long away to beauty, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do the same thing once or twice to get it finished up right. Today is that day.
The new Rikens are blue. The old Rikens were green back in the day, sir. Wait for it, wait for it. Riken! Da 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 da! In green! This week only. Now the one back over here in green whoop, is a grizzly, as well as the table saw. Learn something new every day! on this one so bear with the quickness here <laughs> I think it'll be the second thinnest I did one for a buddy that was real thin but it was because somebody else had turned it originally so yeah this will be the thinnest one I've messed with really but I guess someone else turned this but it wasn't intentionally small <laughs> Just so y'all know, I know how to make them skinny too. <laughs> I just choose not to. A little better shape right here. serious but if it's good and straight you can make a pin on it this will be the thinnest <laughs> yeah I like mine with some figure as well Tim right there with your boss
Mackenzie's in the house. Tim, are you going to be at Woodcraft anytime in the next few days, buddy? I need to get this whole stack of stuff here back to you. So y'all know this is Professor Tim's uh, center setup. No, this is a uh, Festool granite paper, and it does a really freaking good job. It is foam backed though. Love this stuff. All right. Finish number three, let's party. Woo! Hopefully this will be the final, final finish. <laughs> if we can help it. We will not have to finish this one any more times than this. <laughs> One second. Sorry about that. I'm back. I did not leave. I promise I'm still here. send a text to my mom. <laughs> All right. Back at it. We're going to finish it up real quick this time. Get her knocked out. Hey, Gene, how you doing? Second coat coming up. Lovely. Just wonderful. Having a party in here today. We're making a mess today. <laughs> Third coat. couple nights. I had some friends in town from out of state. I had to go hang out with them. Play some ping pong. Drink a beer. 
had a good old time. All right, fifth coat. Finish number three on this barrel. <laughs> All right. Like I said, we're rolling production speed on this uh, finish here, so. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm going to try and run through this pretty quick here. Uh, I get it at Woodcraft, man. They have it at Woodcraft, and I buy it in the actual store. So I don't know, in the store you can buy it by the 5 inch by 5 inch square, and I cut those in half. So I got 2.5 by 5 inch squares that I use. And each 5 by 5 square is um, 99 cents, so it's pretty cheap in the store. And they last a good 10 or 15 pins a piece per little small piece of it, so really economical, really effective piece of sanding material. I love them. Alright, as usual, first micro mesh and grit, smooths it down. Get trucking with these uh, zona paper sheets. Smooth this little butter down, nice. Woo! Yeah, I don't like the stuff on those, uh, the little thin rolls that have like the inch wide 
little sheets on them. I don't like those things at all. They make horrible sanding scratches and everything. I agree. But this foam back stuff is fantastical. Cool, we didn't cut through anywhere, that's good news. She's looking shiny, shiny. Give her a little buffing compound here. Here we go. Nice, smooth, shiny, shiny finish for us. Looking good. Out now. Spot gods are smiling. That's correct, sir. <clears throat> uh, spalted maple, I believe. Uh, John. Neil, correct me if I'm wrong. It might be spalted maple burl. It might just be standard spalted maple. I can't really tell. There we go. I'm going to clean off any excess. CA so it doesn't flip over on us and walk back up the side. It's about the maple burl. There you go. Now you know. All right. Looking fresh, looking fresh. Back 
up our speed back. Okay, bring you guys back over here. Earthquake test! Rebuff. Don't forget to catch your corners. Don't forget to catch your corners. Throw it on the clean wheel. Boom. Oh boy. Just about lost it in turn three. Okay. Add it again. Shiny again, once again. This time, we're putting it together once and for all. <laughs> There's cracks in there, but you wouldn't know it. They hide along with the spalting. Boom. Good enough diploma. Let's go put her together, shall we? Okay. We're going to do it again. Okay, let's try one more again to sort out our orientations. Okay, back on the assembly pile here. That's a lot more like it. Okay. Let's see how. Oh yeah, that was great now. Any room there? Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to get this guy. Ready to set in here. Looking good. Give it somewhere to live. Now, eee. assembly, final. <laughs> we didn't blow it up, we didn't blow it up. Good freaking news. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this back over here and buff the bottom half really fast so everybody's happy. And then we'll take a look at our freshly repaired pin. Good gravy. You wouldn't know it, but we did it. He's so shiny now. Hey, Parrish, how you doing, buddy? Ah, uh, I did not take any before and after pictures. I'll have to take this, uh... That's good, Neil. Glad, buddy. I'm going to have to take this pen, or take this video, and uh, do some screenshots and get some before and after pictures with it. Boom. Alright, just one second, <coughs> we'll take all this apart here. So, after all of that, here is our successful repair job. So this is spalted maple burl. That was cracked and destroyed and all manners of craziness. And now is one big piece of finished up work. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. Sorry that was such a long process. If I hadn't have screwed it up, we would have been done an hour ago. But, uh... Six, yep, six big fat cracks. So, if we can find them. There's one crack up there. There's a crack right there. Nice and smooth now, but that's one of them, and it goes all the way down to the middle through some of that spalting. There's a crack up there at the top, but all these cracks 
you'll see are below that smooth finish. Another crack right there, also below that smooth finish. So, uh, yeah, it was a party with this one. <laughs> but uh, we got her put together, and uh, she's a finished up pin now. So, it'll be ready to work for you, Neil. It does need a new uh, refill, because this one is empty. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Had a great time doing this repair. Woo. Thank you, Gene. So, uh, that is our spalted maple burl cracked up many times repair job. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, you guys. Y'all have a lovely evening. We'll see y'all on the next one. I will not kneel. <laughs> Alright, see y'all later. Party, party. Boom, there she sits. Commander Rollerball in full cracked up fashion. Alright, thanks everybody. Y'all have a good night.